Hi everyone, it's Doug from Bjorn Territory and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how you can paint your Storm Drake Guard. We've fabulous. Catch you in a bit. So with the Storm Drake Guard rider, I'm just going to come in with uh, Contrast Black Templar just to match the army that I have. Just carefully come in with all the flat plate armour. Next colour is coming in with Lead Belcher. I'm going to use it for all the armour parts, the edges of shields. Dragon shoulder pad. Next bit is the lance, and make sure that's all silver as well. With my fist in red, I'm just gonna come in on this bit here. And on the flag, on the lance. Two more colours. Next one is white. Corax white for the shield. With Rhinox brown or Rhinox hide, I'm just coming in for the stirrup pouch. and also the strap for the arms and the shield. First wash, no oil. Goes over the majority of the miniature. Picks out the details. And the black and silver. Quite generous with it. And the next shade is Abrax Earth Shade for the red bits. With Administrator Grey, just come in with a little dry brush and the black armour just to pick out the edges. With Mephiston Red, I'm just coming back into the red on the flat areas of cloth, keeping the creases darker. Shape. Then with the first highlight of Evil Sun Scarlet, then with a little bit of Wild Rider Red, I'm just gonna edge. Just come back in with the lead belcher just to make the silver part stand out while it's raised. Keep the recesses darker. Okay, for this symbol dragon, I've base coated in uh, grey here, but now 
I'm just going to come in with uh, anthematic blue uh, and a wash. With, it's a contrast paint, but I'm just going to go over quite lightly first uh, for all the wing, the top of the wing, and the main body. I'm using quite a, a big brush. I'm not being particularly careful because I'm going to go in where all the armour is and etc. later. So using the shanty bow, I'm just coming in on the underside of the wing. The two thin coats. We're going on the other wing as well. Next colour on the dragon for the it's like scaled plate armour. I'm going to use pterodon turquoise just as a darker colour for this part. Be quite heavy, but be quite careful. Well, I might do two thick coats on this as well. With Black Templar, just going to fill the face or the mouth with Black Templar. With Black Templar, I'm also going to do the claws and talons, sorry, talons on the wings and on his. And also black on the armor. For the straps for the saddle, just coming in with Rhinox hide. So now with lead belcher, it's carrying on the armor that's around the chest of the dragon. Black and silver. So, no no wash on all the metal parts on the dragon's armour. And just a little bit on the edge of the muscles of the wings. And down the spine of each part of the wing. And then where the wing folds, just making sure. And a little bit on the face.
and then with Agrax Earth Shade for the inside of the wings. But just around the outside edges. And also down here. So another wash with Ruckman Flesh, just on the outside edge of the, in, of the wing. And then once it's dry, a dry brush with white. And then a dry brush with a few fancy bones. In the middle of the wing. section. So for the eye, just a little bit of white. And then using black, just coming in for the eye, but towards the front. And then I'm going to come back in with pterodon turquoise for all the scaled parts. And leaving the white dry brush on the outside edge. Tidy up I'm just coming back in with lead belcher for all the armor parts just to highlight the raised edges. Alongside painting and waiting for parts of the dragon to dry, I also created the base. Um, all it is, is bits of Azerite ruins. On the base, I've used sterling mud, washed with Agrax Earth Shade, then dry brushed with, I think it was like a white or gray. And I put a couple of tufts on, and it's quite cool. I'm just thinking of now tidying the edges, and giving them edge of the base a colour as well. So I've chosen the flat brown, just to get on the edges of the base. Alright, so the edging of the base is dry. I just now get my dragon, it's now dry with the eyes popping a bit more. Attach. And then my rider. Okay, there you go for Free Foot Fabulous. I'm calling him done. I'll probably add in a few more details, edge highlight a few more bits, but I'm quite happy with him. Quite cool. I hope you liked the video. Hope I gave you some tips and tricks and encouragement to get on with your own painting. And I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye.